NVIDIA just had their keynote. I watched the whole thing so you don't have to. Let's talk about it in under five minutes. NVIDIA revealed a lot of cool stuff at their keynote, but let's talk about the, the three main things they released. The RTX 4090, the RTX 4080, in two variants. But first, let's talk about the RTX 4090. So although NVIDIA didn't reveal everything about their RTX 4090, it looks very promising. So looking at specs alone, the RTX 4090 has 5,632 more CUDA cores than the 3090 Ti and 5,888 more CUDA cores than the 3090. So the RTX 4090 has a boost of around 2.5 gigahertz. That's approximately a 43% increase over the past 3000 series of cards. And Jensen even claimed that they were able to overclock their cards to up to three gigahertz. And yes, I know Nvidia might have all the special like lab equipment to overclock the GPUs, but this really shows how like overclockable these GPUs are. So I'm, I'm very excited. Jensen also claimed that, that the 3090 in ray tracing performance approximately has two to four times the amount of performance than the 3090 does, which is absolutely crazy. And all of this, everyone thought that before the announcement that these GPUs are gonna run, like they're gonna take so much power, like 600, 700 watts of power. But surprisingly, the Ada Lovelace architecture only claims to use around 450 watts of power. Yes, it's a lot, but significantly less than what I was thinking. And NVIDIA was able to achieve this with their new architecture and their migration to a new process node. They switched from Samsung's 8 nanometer process to TSMC's N4 process, which is a based on a 5 nanometer process node. Jensen didn't reveal much about their RTX 4080 SKUs. All we know that there's a RTX 4080 12 gig and an RTX 4080 16 gig. They have less CUDA cores. The RTX 4080 has less CUDA cores than the RTX 3080, but the clock speed is like way ahead of the past generation. And with the architectural improvements, I'm sure these two GPUs are still gonna absolutely destroy the RTX 3080 and maybe even come close to the RTX 3090 Ti in terms of speed. Just a prediction. And Nvidia, if you're watching, I mean, send me some. I mean, I'll use them. To achieve all this, I'll get into a little bit of depth now. Nvidia announced three major architectural improvements for their RTX 40 series of GPUs. Remember DLSS? Nvidia just made that like a whole different level. Remember DLSS 2 in, in Ampere? What it used to do, it used to take a smaller sample image, it would render like a 1080p or 720p file or frame, and it would use AI to upscale it. Super cool stuff. But DLSS 3, this is extremely, extremely cool. What they've done is they've actually used AI to predict the motions of the pixels and where they're gonna be in the next frame. So the GPU is essentially predicting what the next frame is gonna be, but still super accurate. Like all this AI stuff is super cool. And this this has two major uses. First of all, it increases your FPS in games. Always great. And second of all, it takes a load off your CPU. Instead of the CPU doing the heavy lifting of predicting the new frame, the NVIDIA GPU does it so the CPU can focus on other tasks for more CPU intensive workloads. The second thing that NVIDIA has improved on on their Ada Lovelace architecture is what they call shading execution reordering. It's kind of confusing and Jensen didn't say much about it, but in short, it's basically a way for the GPU to make rendering shaders more parallel rather than something, rather than waiting for a ray trace operation to be complete. It's a bit confusing and I don't really understand it much yet because it wasn't really said into much detail, but once I get more information, you bet I'll share it with you guys. NVIDIA just also improved on their RT core design, tensor core design, and shader core design. They didn't get into much detail about it, but I mean, they also just chuck more hardware and I mean, that always works, right? Chuck more hardware, more performance. <laughs> yeah. As for pricing, the RTX 4090 starts at $1,600 and the RTX 4080 16 gigabyte starts at $1,200 and the RTX 4080 12 gigabyte starts at $899. If you look at articles and YouTube videos and more articles about the pricing of these GPUs, 99% of people are saying these GPUs are super, super expensive and they're just overpriced. I do agree they're expensive, but as for overpriced, I disagree. Here's why. Although the RTX 4090 costs $1,600, yes, yes, yes. I know that is extremely expensive for a GPU, but it's just a premium product for most people. And majority of the population doesn't even need an RTX 4090 or RTX 4060 or 3060. And 
with the two to four times uplift in ray tracing performance and the soaring high inflation rates on top of the TSMC increasing their prices, and with the only with the only $100 markup, I think it's perfectly reasonable. And if you look at RTX 3090 Ti's, their MSRP is around $2,000, but right now they're only going for around $1,000 to $1,100. That shows that Nvidia is trying to get rid of a lot of stock and not many people are buying it. So $1,600 might be the MSRP, but I can easily see that changing. Like I can easily see that going down in just a few months of it releasing. Just a thought. But Nvidia, if you wanna send me one, I'll, I'll gladly review one for you. Anyways, that wraps up the 4000 series bit of the keynote. If you wanna go check out Nvidia's you know, I'll leave a link in the, in the description below. They talked about some other cool tech like uh, relating to servers and some more software. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, bye.